doing a couple of the acoustic gigs. But we're going to sing you a few songs, a few covers that are a few of my favourite songs at the minute. Um, a few of my songs as well. If you know the words, feel free to sing along. But this first one, you will definitely know the words too. It's called The Climb. Hope you enjoy it. again I do miss the buzz of performing in front of people so um, this next song I want to sing for you all is a track of my classic album it's called Solitaire I hope you enjoy it Love through 
through his indifference A heart that gave That went unshared Until so many instruments on stage with us, but it's amazing to have the fantastic Jamie with us, so give it up, give it up for Jamie. Anyway. Alright, now this next song is one of my favourite songs of this year. Some of you who already know me will know I love a good cheesy pop song. Um, <laughs> and I also love songs that kind of are a kind of a breakup song, but it's kind of feel good as well. Um, you know, I think it, that those kind of songs are really feel good and good. So this song is by Katy Perry, and it's called Part of Me, so we hope you enjoy it. Days like this I want to travel Yeah. 
Thank you. All right. I believe it's question time. I'm on the hot seat. I'm going to put the lights up a little bit. Please. There's not. Oh, yeah, I can see your lovely faces now. <laughs> All right. Where's the first question? I believe the head teacher wants to ask the first question. Yes, please. Here you are. If you want to do, do you want to stand, do guys want to stand up and ask you a question that everybody can hear, yeah? I'm quite happy to stand up. Um, welcome to Lee Manor, Joe. It's fantastic that you're here with us this evening. Thank you, it's a pleasure. Good. There are a number of Lee Manor students um, in the audience tonight, and I wondered if you would like to tell them what you were like at school. Were you a naughty boy? Do you know what it is? I used to get really, really, really good reports, right? But the one thing, the one thing that used to always be on the report, so they'd be like, Joe's really good in science, he's progressing really well, but he never shuts up. It's always... Joe's really good in maths, but he never shuts up. Except I wasn't good in maths, but that's another story. Um, but yeah, I was really, I loved being at school. I would go back tomorrow, I would love to go back to school tomorrow, like for a week. Um, because I always think you have your best memories at school, you know. Everything's so carefree, you kind of, you don't have any responsibilities, there's no stress. Um, and I just think it's, I met some lifelong friends there, you know, that I'm still friends with now. And it was, a, I had a really good experience at school. I know some people aren't as fortunate as me. But um, I, I love school, so stick in, guys. I'm sure you hear that quite a lot. Thank you for that. Who's next? Yeah, you at the back there. Do you want to stand up? Favourite song to perform? To record, did you say? To record. Um, I'll tell you the hardest song to record was um, on the first album, Wide Awake, Ambitions. That was one of the hardest songs I've ever had to record because really previous to that I'd never sang anything in falsetto um, which is kind of singer's term for you know singing like higher than your head voice and I remember it took about mm, probably about seven hours to record that normally I can get a song done in about two hours two and a half hours it took about seven hours because I couldn't get this falsetto and they were giving us all these techniques but thankfully because of that I'm able to, to put falsetto in a lot of these songs now so that was the hardest, most enjoyable was probably um, Someone Wake Me Up off the first album. I remember getting such a buzz. Getting such a buzz when I recorded that because I kind of helped out with the melodies um, and it was the, the one song on that album that we really kind of started from scratch. So Someone Wake Me Up. Who's next? Yes? Jamie had a bet. Jamie had a bet in the dressing room. <laughs> Who was going to stand up and ask something about Simon Cowell first? You won the bet. <laughs> um, is he a ladies' man in what way? <laughs> you are. In any way, I'm not sure you'd have to ask him. <laughs> you are. I will do. I will do. <laughs> any more questions? Do you know what my normal answer to this is? I must know. have read the papers. <laughs> <laughs> but I would, yes. <laughs> Who's next? Yes? Have you learned to run out of ski yet? Yes, I, did. I went, um, for those of you who don't, don't know what, what she means by that, I went water skiing last week um, in Scotland with all the family. And I did monoski, although it was for about five seconds. Um, and I shot off the ski and then woke up the next day and felt like I'd been kicked by a horse. But yes, I did monoski. <laughs> um, who's next? Yeah? Who's, I can't see the hand in the shadow. Can you turn that little light down up there, please? A tiny bit. Yes? Yes. Yes. Um, yes. The song that I me and Jamie wrote a song together, which is actually going to be on the album, and we came up with it. Us two. I knew somebody was going to ask that. <laughs> we'll see how the night pans out. Um, me and Jamie wrote a song together, um, and yeah, we came up with the music and, and the lyrics together. So I was kind of involved in it. The other ones. Um, I did a few at a writing camp in London with some like really big songwriters and they kind of, some of them came in with melodies, some um, were kind of sat around together and did them. It was all kind of collaborations, um, but I really enjoyed writing and kind of, 
you know, there, there's nothing better than finishing a song or starting a song from nothing. And then today I've been to the record label today and hearing them finished is just, there's no feeling like it. It's incredible. Yes? Hugo. <laughs> Hugo is um, my new pet rabbit. <laughs> Basically, we're not allowed a dog. I'm just filling people in who don't know these intricate details. Um, Hugo is a little baby rabbit. Um, we're not allowed dogs in my family because everybody's allergic. So my mum walked in the house the other day with a bunny rabbit, tiny little baby rabbit. And she was like, there you go, there's, there's a birthday present for your 21st. I know we can never have a dog. But I think she secretly likes it more than me. <laughs> because I've just been on the phone to her, she's not here tonight. I've been on the phone to her and she's been like, oh, I've been holding it all day. And she claims she's allergic to animals. So, you know, but yes, he's lovely. He's got Twitter. He's got Twitter. I don't know who's the Twitter site for it, but he has Twitter. Yes, straight to top. Um, basically what happened is, I, um, I've just finished the kind of promo trail of the first album and it was just after Christmas, I'd been on a really, really long holiday, I'd been skiing in America and um, I, my manager at the time, who, I, who I'm not with now, um, phoned us up and she said, oh there's, there's this offer coming for, to take part in this opera show and she caught us at a really good time, it was so relaxed, didn't think anything, I was like yeah, 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 okay, when is it? June time she said or something and I thought oh well I've got ages away so I was doing small gigs around the country and things and then the, sh the next thing I knew I was in a, um, ITV's main office block being told by like full on opera coaches that basically I couldn't sing like forget what you've learned before that's all wrong you're going to damage your voice that way and blah 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 and I literally learned everything from scratch it was like going to the gym every day I was in there for like singing three hours a day every day um, but without that show, you know, I, I did a tour at the end of last year and the stamina I got from the vocal training was just like incredible. You know, I've never ever been able to, I, I suppose, I don't know how to say it, like I can sing for a long, long time now without it affecting my voice. Whereas before, you know, if I sang three gigs in a row, it would really affect my voice. So it was incredible and it was nice to be able to record some of the opera tracks as well. Um, and include them on the album because it, everybody seemed to really enjoy them on the show. Anybody else? Let's have a look. Yes. Do you laugh your head off when you re when you receive my letters? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I really enjoy um, getting fan. It's always hard. It, I really enjoy receiving mail and and getting fan mail. It's hard to reply to it all, but I do get it all and I do read it and see it all. Um, and no, I love it. I love. You guys give me the first hand of what you want, do you know what I mean? Without, without you guys buying the albums to come to the shows, I wouldn't be able to do what I, I love to do so much. So I kind of want to give you what you want to hear. So the fan mail, I get a good thing from that. Twitter, I always find it. Although you might not think, I do actually listen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know you do. Just sometimes it's not always, there's always, there's higher people up than me sometimes. So I have to listen to them sometimes. Yes. Um, I haven't watched it for a while, but I'll tell you what I did watch the other day. Um, we were rehearsing for this, and Jamie asked us to play the climb, just to kind of get the, the, the instrumental bit and work it all out. And I watched the video, and I was like, oh my god! <laughs> like, I still can't believe that I get to do this as a job. Where it's in that kind of video covers it all. It shows you right from the beginning, and I just look so young. And yeah. me, I, wow. like behind my eyes, I can see I'm so I'm I'm a bit like a rabbit in the headlights. I can see it now, you know. Like I was like, whoa, what is going on here? So that was probably the last time I've seen something related to that, and it was it was kind of eye opening a bit. Yes. Um, going back to your voice, when you were with the um, pop star to opera star, and you learned a different way of using your voice, where are you now with your voice? Because you do pop and you do. Some classical is you, can you just change from one to the other or have you found a middle level with your voice now um the thing is is you can't sing you have to change your voice to sing into opera mm. so you, if you came you came the two hour last year yes. didn't you yeah well what, you, you noticed the show was probably it was kind of like a split in half yeah. and it changed um 
and it had to because you could the certain songs you can't go straight into a classical song mm. with, you know, um, like ambition, something like ambition. Yeah. There's no way on earth you would get back in it because your voice is up here. It's kind of like a how to explain. It's like a level of an office block, and it, ambitions it's at the top, and then from something like Canada de la Terra, it's got to be right down there, and everything's got to be open. So um, uh, the setlist had to be really cleverly. Um, kind of orchestrated to fit the vocals of each song, but we didn't read it. What what I'll tell you now is, we, you, I sang until the stars were out, and then I went straight into a, kind of like a classical song. It was to where you are, but I used to be backstage like on the floor, not being able to breathe because I'd just done a full-on dance routine, <laughs> and um, yeah, I would just be like, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. And it would be like, calm down, Joe, drink some water. And, um, so yeah, maybe it's next time I wouldn't do a dance song before I went into a big ballad. And can you check? Can you change from one to the other quite easily? Yeah, I mean, I've got the balance now, so I know how to sing an opera song. So I put that kind of technique in. And for a pop song, you can kind of sing a pop song in the opera style. It just gives you more movement and room to breathe. But sometimes you have to be careful because with an opera song, obviously you'll hear there's a lot more vibrato. Mm. And with pop songs, it's kind of softer and sweeter. Yeah. So you have to you have to orchestrate it carefully. <laughs> yes. Seeing the show with your mentor, would you ever duet with her? Yeah, I mean, you know, um, she was actually. I'll tell you a little secret. Um, she was actually. We were actually going to sing together on my homecoming. Um, at in Newcastle, you know, when everybody on the mentors go back to their own hometowns. We were going to sing together, um, and it didn't end up happening due to rehearsal times and things like that. But yeah, I'd love to. You know, she's doing amazingly well, and she's she's a genuinely lovely lady. So it would be a pleasure to work with her. Yes. Hi. Will you still carry on singing your Italian songs? Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, the new the new album doesn't have at the minute. We're talking about maybe putting. Oh yeah, it does have. It has one Italian song on the new album. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm sorry, I do forget these things. Um, but yeah, I'll always, you know, that the, the songs that I've done in the past are a part of my repertoire now, so they'll always be put into shows. And I have to admit, every time I put a set list together, it's a lot harder than probably most singers, because I have so many different styles of songs and so many of different albums. Um, it is quite hard to, and you know, sometimes I think, well, if I do that one, I won't hear this one. And, but I will, I will still sing them. And we were talking about a day, um, I'm getting wrong because I'm, asked, I'm answering too many questions. Um, we were talking about a day, you know, maybe he's recording some of the songs um, on the album that aren't necessarily classical, but in Italian as well. So watch out, watch this space. Ooh, good. We've got one more question? One more. Uh, yes. Yes. We're going to do another session, so don't worry, everybody will get a question. I'm going to release a duet with Warwick as well, I don't know. You'd have to ask Dion that one. Um, it's not for me. But uh, it was an absolute honour to sing with her. I've never met somebody so um, famous and had such an amazing, incredible career that's so humble. You know, she just came in, sit down, sat down on one of like the music wedges, like one of the stage cases, and just totally blended in with everybody else and just genuinely passionate about music. And I think that's something really special to kind of look up to. I would love it to be a single um, and be released, but you know, it's one of those things, it's somebody else's song, it's all these things. If I could do it tomorrow, I would do it. Um, it has been talked about.